Welcome to the Creepy Curious. I'm the Monk, and today we're going to do a guide on Flemen, the priest to the fire god. So he's going to be a heavy gunner. He is going to have the flamethrower. We have got a disciple of metal uh, that gives you a 15% buff to all fire damage, uh, which is pretty good. Um, there are other options, but really this is what we want for this. We want that buff to fire damage as much as possible. Starting weapons, obviously we done heavy gunner. So I've set up 14 points, what you would take if you were going to do a start character from scratch with this guy. I honestly would not recommend this. I wouldn't do a starting character with a heavy weapon uh, for, well, I mean, heavy weapons are going to be, uh, the ammo is going to be type is going to be really hard to find. And if you're going to do a flame uh, specifically, that is going to be nigh on impossible to find a decent supply early. Uh, coordination, you are going to want to go at least seven points. You want him to basically be able to take his shot or, or move in a position and take his shot. It doesn't really matter how many coordination you put into it. You could max it, but it's you're going to be hard pressed to actually do the two shots in one go uh, with this character. Strength, again, is very important. Don't really need to worry about luck or awareness with a flame build, uh, which actually is pretty good. I'm going to add a bit of speed just to help you with the movement. Um, and of course, intelligence is good for the crits. Uh, those critical hits, they really do help. So high intelligence is good. High strength is good. High coordination is also very good. Like I said, you don't actually need luck, don't need awareness, and you don't need charisma. So all the other points can be spread around, um, you know, on those those ones that you really want to try and max out first before you work on anything else. When it comes to skills, obviously we're going to be going for big guns. You're going to want 10 on this one. The other ones you can get away with less, but 10 gets you a really good perk right at the end there. Obviously big guns are spread out between uh, your, he your heavy machine guns and your flaming Um and of course, you're going to want one point on first aid and one point on animal whisperer. Of course, the uh, first aid actually is really important for the uh, med kits, and the animal whisperer is good for the little buffs you can get. For quirks, we are going with pyromaniac. This gives us a 25% buff to all fire uh, damage, and also gives us 25 plus to uh, fire explode. Sorry, explosive damage, but. We don't really need that one. Yes, you get a 15% chance to catch on fire, but that's okay. It's only 15%. We're actually going to be outweighing that with the amount we're going to be buffed. Anyway, when it comes to uh, your perks, we're actually going to put one more skill in uh, in just a second as well. So we've actually gone for a helmet that gives us uh, more critical uh, hit chance. And after that, we've just gone for... Uh, as much defense as you currently have available to you. Uh, like I said, in just a sec, I'm actually going to put on two points to um, explosives uh, in your skill. This enables you to get a very handy perk. Uh, that perk is duck and cover. It gives you an extra 20% fire resistance on your character. Uh, and considering you've got that 15% chance to actually catch on fire, this is Really handy, helps a lot, and uh, why not for two skill points? You might as well grab that perk. Uh, we're going for healthy as well. Um, that 35%, that 35 points on health is always really good. So the first perk in big guns we're going to go for is Terrorizer. Uh, basically, it buffs your flamethrower, uh, which is really good. It uh, basically makes people scared of you. It gives them a debuff on hit chance. Um, if you guys wanted to do move up, that's also really good. I haven't got it on this build, uh, but if you've got a spare perk point, I would definitely put it on. It gives you a 0.5 combat speed for the first turn uh, if you're using big guns, and Flamethrower is a big gun. Uh, the next one we've got is Pressure Cooker, which again is really good. It's really good against vehicles. And after that, we have got Widespread, which increases your cone by 35%. That's pretty much all you need with this build. Um, it works for me. I hope it works for you. Uh, if it does, let me know in the comments. Maybe think about liking and subscribing. Uh, but this is my priest to the fire god. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this build works for you. Like I said, it's a really fun build to work with. And uh, 
and hopefully you guys think so too well i've been a monk and we've been a critically clueless and i will see you again soon for more builds more guides and more videos of every kind